The Suns go about featuring Devin Booker within their half-court offense a handful of different ways. And maybe the most intriguing, because the on-ball stuff is obvious, is what he does off the ball, the IQ that he uses, and the feel that he has for processing the defense underneath it from different angles and playing as a screener and using his gravity as an advantage for himself as well as for others. They have four reps against the Wizards that really stood out to me. And if, you're, if you've been following the Suns closely the last four or five years now, this shouldn't be a surprise at how good of a screener and understanding of IQ in terms of screening that Devin Booker is. Uh, nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and just zoom in on these couple of reps because it's something that's perking up a little bit more in frequency. And it's a good part and it's a good layer within their offensive process. First play here, we're going to see it's a play that the Suns have been going to a lot at the beginning of quarters and especially to start games. And this is going to be pairing chin action with flex. So we're going to let it kind of flow through and you'll just kind of see it all kind of marrying together all of the different layers that we just spoke to. That's going to be a wide open layer for Grayson Allen to set the tone and start the game for the Suns. But as we bring it back, we're going to see it's hard for our offense to parse through including all four of their player, their best offensive players in the lineup in one action. That's a lot of real estate in terms of where you can manipulate space and things like that to force the defense to attempt to guard. And the Suns have, have found something by way of Kevin Young to pair all four players in one action. And we see it here. So we see, first of all, it's the pitch to Durant. And that's just going to automatically get all types of attention. Add to that, Nurk is setting this chin screen here for Devin Booker to get downhill off ball. Then the ball ultimately getting to Nurkic. And this is a layer within the Suns offense that I'm going to continue to emphasize. And that's Nurkic being enabled as a playmaker, making things so much easier for Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and eventually Bradley Beal as well. In addition to Grayson Allen and Eric Gordon, it's invaluable into their process. You just can't overstate it. And it's, it's just, it's just a, a very important layer. Nonetheless, going back to this specific play, we see Devin Booker flowing over for the flex screen here. He's setting it for Grayson Allen. And notice how we see Ty Tyus Jones top locking here to try to attempt to stop the flow of a potential handoff that Grayson Allen might be low enough to come off of from Kevin Durant. So you see that body language. That's all giving Devin Booker indicators on how to set this screen and what to do as he comes in to glue in terms of pairing one player with another here on offense. And we see Devin Booker just do a great job as well as Grayson Allen for setting up for the screen to set up the angle to execute within the reaction advantage that ultimately comes. But look at Devin Booker just ghost this screen. He doesn't set it. He doesn't really even attempt to intentionally touch Grayson or to touch Grayson Allen's man, Tyus Jones. He's just kind of trying to slip through here. And the pace and tempo that's generated from this, in addition to the reaction advantage and gravity of him, brings two to him off the ball. He doesn't even have the ball in his hands here. And he's getting two to himself. That's automatically opening up Grayson Allen. Again, all by way of the setup from these two, but also the nuance and IQ and understanding from Devin Booker on how to play it in these scenarios off the ball. And that opens up Grayson Allen again for a wide open two. And that sets the tone for the Suns offense. Here we're going to see not news to anybody, but the Suns get into a lot of Spain pick and roll. Breaking news, breaking news, I know. But what's unique about it here is over the last handful of games, they've been getting into it with a Ram screen. So rather than having the guard that's setting the back screen start on the baseline or in the corner and peeling in from there, they have Devin Booker setting the middle pin for whoever the center is. And here is going to be Drew Eubanks. So he's setting the middle pin for his man. And then he's going to sprint up from the baseline to set the screen. This is all to just attract the attention of Eubanks' man who's Muscala here, bring him up above the free throw line and get him being urgent trying to get into action as Devin Booker then reverses and then just peels in behind him to set the back screen. And they do this because a lot of times, especially as the Suns get into this over the course of games, big men, by way of their sideline, screaming stack, 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 try to drop underneath the back screen. 
to kind of muck up and just keep the keep themselves in the advantage in terms of leverage when the Suns get into their Spain pick and roll. So I'm gonna let this one kind of finish flowing through and then we'll break it down afterwards. So you see Booker ultimately end up getting a wide open look. It's a miss. The shot quality is ultra green. It's as good as it gets for Devin Booker. But we're going to look at this a little bit more. So I mentioned opposing big men just kind of peeling in behind them to slow it down and just get behind and keep themselves in position leverage wise. The screening from Devin Booker and his patience within this action ultimately is what's going to free him up. As we see on this rep, the Wizards, as he processes it, Devin Booker does are going to go end up switching the two top guards. So that's another way that most teams typically eventually get to trying to guard Spain pick and roll. Have that big drop underneath the middle screener, the back screener, and then have the guards up top switch as the other guard pops. But because of Devin Booker's patience here, and you can see him just kind of push the defender over to Eric Gordon as they swap roles in terms of spacing within Spain pick and roll. His patience is ultimately going to be what nets him a wide open look as we see Jordan Poole kind of, kind of get lost here. And essentially, Drew Eubanks' role is going to get two to, the, two to him on the roll. And that's going to all, all ultimately open up Devin Booker. And like I said, he misses this shot. But it's his patience as a screener, his understanding of what to do and how quickly or how slowly to do so with their actions that ultimately generates advantages, not just for others all the time, but also for himself. Next up here, we're going to see them get into it with him peeling in from the baseline, like I mentioned at the top of the last play. So we see him peeling in. We also see Muscala well above the free throw line. And in the game feed, you can kind of hear his sideline screaming, get under, get under, get under, because they're talking about stack coming. Devin Booker, with the angle on this screen, is able to negate him completely getting under it and ultimately engage him legally with contact. That's going to just create all types of chaos and confusion in the middle of this play. And it's ultimately going to net Jordan Goodwin an opportunity where right here, he may have initially picked up his dribble, which would have muddied the process and everything. Because Devin Booker's engaging the big, that's going to allow Jordan Goodwin to, instead of terminating his dribble where he might have without Devin Booker being patient with the screen, he's now able to take an extra couple of dribbles ultimately engage Muscala and then by way of Devin Booker being patient in addition to them popping and then taking that gravity and having an extra player involved in that action defensively taking him away from it pulling him away that's going to open up like I mentioned good one the opportunity to get the ball to Eubanks already in the paint and that's an advantage for the Suns to play out of and Eubanks is able to finish a hook this time and then on this final rep here this is just all of it adding up over time. So the Suns are getting back into Spain pick and roll again. And then we're going to see, like I mentioned, on high alert, the big man dropping underneath Devin Booker as he gets ready to set this screen. Now the Suns have built-in counters for this. And here they're going to get into just that. As we slow it back down, watch Devin Booker here as he communicates exactly what to do before it happens. So he knows that the big and Muscala is going to be trying to drop underneath this screen. So he's pointing at Drew Eubanks here. To go ahead and just set the screen. Don't worry about me. I'm going to handle this underneath. So we see as they use a little misdirection to have Eric Gordon cut across the re-space. Muscala dropping well underneath Devin Booker, even opening up his hips to make sure that he does not get screened in this action. And look at the counter from the Suns here. We see the screen on ball, traditionally in Spain pick and roll. And now that's going to counter instead of Devin Booker setting a back screen because Muscala is so deeply dropped in the paint. We're gonna see most, we're gonna see Eubanks, excuse me, flip and set this veer screen, middle pin down after a screen on the ball for Devin Booker. And now guess what? Because Devin Booker has the ball, Muscala has to come up and engage at the level of the screen. Devin Booker is patient, and that's all accompanied by a smart 45 cut here from Goody. And then they get back into respacing. But look at on the ball with Devin Booker. He's just pairing all of his evolutions into one play here. So he's being patient. Look at this. He has three players. He's engaging the attention of three players all in close proximity to the ball. So look at these retreat dribbles that he counters with as the Suns respace 
and then look at how he, as he sees the nail defender and Jordan Poole get back to one pass away defense in denial. Look at how he streams it out, is patient, allows for the Suns to respace. They get a lift from the backside from Eric Gordon. That's going to stretch out Kyle Kuzma's rotation. Ultimately, we're going to see Devin Booker engage that after these retreat dribbles, be able to evade the initial on ball defender, engage Muscala, and then in addition to the smart lift from the backside from Eric Gordon, Devin Booker is able to manipulate after being patient and stretching the rotations as they try to flatten him, out, flatten him out, and he's able to hit Eubanks. And because Devin Booker is able to engage, again, Muscala, that puts him behind schedule as Eric Gordon lifts from the backside to free Muscala, or to free Eubanks. Muscala's behind schedule getting over to Eubanks, and this is like a closeout for a big man to attack. He does a great job, one dribble, quick pump fake, reverse pivot into it, good spin, great footwork, and great dexterity on display from Eubanks to evade the closing defender and is able to finish at the basket. But all of this is set up from Devin Booker and the chaos that he ultimately creates, all just off his IQ and feel, not just always on the ball, not just moving around off the ball, but even being as a screener, and then like I mentioned on this last play, being able to pair it all together and ultimately generate an advantage for the Suns to play out of.